Oh, hello everyone. Uh, this is uh, uh, part two of our video, of a three three part video. This is part two, and that's deal with exporting from QBO to QuickBooks Desktop Editions. And on QuickBooks, uh, on part one, we went through our tools, export data, and uh, went through step one, step two, and step three. Now we're going to focus on this video, part two. I'm going to focus on step four and five. Okay, so uh, so I have already uh, done the uh, part one, two, three. So when you open your uh, uh, of your uh, your homepage, you will see this uh, underneath attention. It you see this take action uh, link, and it, it will say download the company file created. Uh, so just click this one. Okay, so now we're ready to uh, download. Okay. All right, so you got to read this a little bit carefully. Okay, so see, I am moving my data to QuickBooks Desktop Edition. So that's the one you want to select. The other one is uh, no use. Okay, uh, so select that one. So continue. Okay, so at this point on step four, it says, please open QuickBooks Desktop now and close the company file that displays okay and it gives you two steps in there okay so this is a very important one very important process of the whole download thing okay so i'm going to go to desktop now and i'll show you what they're talking about okay so i'm on desktop now i have one company file open so at this point what you need to do is you want to show no company open okay so uh click file and uh, i'm just going to click this new company okay and uh, it will say you know uh, you want to express data express star whatever so you don't want to do any any of those so just want to close this okay so that means I have two uh, two files open right and you want to make this blank so let's click this edit list right there and just hide those two files company files just click those two okay so now it's you know it's blank so this is what you want okay all right, so I'm gonna make this uh, slide too small or whatever. Okay, so let's see if it will work or not. Okay. okay all right so I'm gonna do now I'm gonna uh, download click this download okay Oop. okay so download all right they ask you for where do you want to download so a file name you know their default export company and let's say you want to create your own company file name you can just you know uh, just say uh, your company name so in this case I'm going to say stencils one and then save it okay so uh, so this is kind of important one so it says your browser uh, don't fit so that means you have to adjust your browser somehow they don't like the size in here so you need to go in here and right now this is 125 so I'm going to adjust this to 100 okay so I'm just going to refresh this and try it again. Okay, I'm going to try this, see what happens. As I say, the step four is the critical one. Uh, many times it, it won't even work. Okay, so uh, I'm going to download again. I need to download it again. Download. Okay, I'm going to say Sensor one again. Save it. Replace it. Okay, so we didn't like that one either. So dramatically changed to uh, 150, and I just want to make it uh, 100. Let's 
Sensor one. Okay, here we go. Now this time it worked. Okay, so this is the one you want. See the dialog, web, web page dialog. As, as you can see, it took uh, two, three times. So you have to adjust that screen thing, you know? Okay, so this one, okay. So right now we're in right place. Okay, so this one is zero web dialog in here. And so you need to change this to uh, say yes, prompt each time and continue it and done. Okay, so now as you can see on the left side, the web page dialog, it's working. It's downloading from uh, from QBO to uh, QB uh, desktop. Okay, so now it's still saying uh, the the thing here. So at this point, probably we don't care. Probably if it's already downloaded or what. Okay, so let's check five in here. Step five. Okay, I'm gonna go to. Uh, desktop now there we go I'm gonna make this bigger okay hopefully it did the download the first thing you want to do is check the trial balance go to reports you know say so the company created they created a company now the question is the, the file data okay so as you can see automatically created this you know the file company file okay so now reports and I'm gonna uh, open trial balance okay so as you can see here it did, did create uh, the file okay so I'm gonna do this uh, let's say January 1 through January so this is like Jan uh, July 3rd July 3rd okay so July 3rd I refresh this okay so this is uh, QuickBooks desktop so I want to compare these uh, uh, data, uh, uh, you know, with uh, your uh, uh, the the QBO one. Okay, and I'm gonna go to this one. Okay, I, you know, it says uh, uh, check your reports in QuickBooks for Windows. So they don't tell you what reports you want to check. So. Uh, so I'm checking uh, trial balance first. Okay. Reports. So trial balance. So this I'm on uh, uh, QBO now. Just type trial balance. Okay. So if you're on CAS, just change it to a crawl and run report. Okay. And you want to do. Uh, January 1 as, as you can see the other one I did uh, uh, January 1 through I'm gonna adjust this a little bit hopefully you can see both okay here we go okay so January 1 Okay, so I'm going to do January 1 through July 3rd. And run report. Oop. Okay, so first thing you want to do is check the total. So it's, it's the same report now, time time frame wise, January 1 through July 3rd, January 1 through July 3rd, and accrual basis, accrual basis, the total should match. Okay, so in here you have uh, 108. 05640 cents and in here you have a 108061 40 cents so it's five dollar difference right so you have to go through each account and see uh, where the difference is coming from okay so it could be just it may not be just five dollars the difference 
total difference is five, but within uh, different accounts, it could be you know totally different. Okay, so let's look at here. For example, checking in here is at nine thousand credit. So whereas in here seven nine seven eight, it's a big difference, right? Okay, so now uh, and you may see other ones as you can see here. In here, other receivable five bucks, and in here it it doesn't exist that account. Okay, so you have to go through each. Uh, each account and uh, see uh, the difference and uh, so uh, so next ne next video I'm going to focus on uh, so how to resolve all the uh, discrepancies all the variance okay how to uh, do the right zone entry or something like that to fix it okay so uh, another thing you may, you may want to do now is so this is the end of J July 3rd it's like a middle of uh, some fiscal year so so you need to check last year's fiscal year let's say December uh, December 31st right I was gonna check uh, I'm gonna check last year in here this year last month last quarter last year okay last year see right last year I'm gonna do the same thing in here and last year last fiscal year refresh this okay in here you got 133.526 so in here you have 134.5 so uh, so when you make adjustment so you have to do one adjustment for last year uh, last fiscal year and then make another uh, adjustment and see the, the difference again and then make uh, uh, adjustment for uh, this fiscal year so uh, so that that would be on my next part three video okay so uh, just hang in there just watch uh, my part three and uh, so I'll go through how to make adjustments all right okay thank you